I'm going to be honest with you. Over the last year, I did not want to code anymore. You see, I've been in tech for over 10 years now. Like my first half decade in tech, I was a front end engineer. And then I moved to DevRel. And ever since I've been in DevRel, I've been in the back end space from data monitoring to working in the data engineering ETL space. And now I work in the database space for TidyB, which I actually absolutely love. And what's cool about this job is it allows me to give talks at conferences, meetups all around the world, build pretty cool things, but I wasn't able to push code to production anymore. It doesn't feel the same. And so like somewhere along the way for me, I just stopped building things for myself. I only built things for work. Like I stopped writing code for fun. And the thing is, I didn't notice it until it was too late, until later in my career. And so I guess in other words, like I was burnt out pretty bad. But fortunately, okay, now here's the good news. Like along the way, something did change. And like, if you look at my GitHub now, like I don't have... I don't have as many GitHub um, green check boxes throughout the year, but throughout my last vacation during my birthday, like my love for code was reignited. Like my GitHub has more green commits than ever before. Like I'm, I'm literally shipping projects on a weekly basis because it's fun and I'm building projects for myself. And I'm finally excited to open my laptop again. Right. And so like, this big thing, is something big has changed in my desire and my love for code. And I really want to share a few why. So like when I first got into tech, like I remember I was in love with coding. Like I know tech paid well, but I wasn't in it just for the money. I mean, the money's great, but as a junior developer, not so well, right? So you have to actually love it because you don't get paid well as a junior developer. Like I, I, I when at, that, at that time when I was coding, like I absolutely loved it because I was getting paid to do what a love. Like I, I was an engineer for my first half year and half, half decade in tech. And I remember like coding all the time, constantly mo morning to evening. But then like, I, like, as I said earlier, when I moved into DevRel, when I started traveling around the world, which is exhausting by the way, I didn't get to code like I used to. And so like, after you do this for like another half decade, of course I eventually burned out and that spark for code was gone. And actually ended up hurting me because I wasn't staying up to date with technology like I used to be. And I was worried like maybe I should just move on. Maybe I should just retire a little bit early. But something changed. I started coding again. But it's not because of the reason you probably think. I mean, I love coding. But the main reason is because of tools like Codex. Tools like Claude Code. And the main reason is because, like, because of tools like Claude Code, it has allowed me to build things faster than ever before. Like I, I am in the AI space. My job requires me to be up to date in the AI space. I know about LLMs. I know about vector search. I know about RAG. I know about long-term persistent memory and the importance of it, but I didn't know how to build anything with it and the particular use cases for it. That has completely changed now because of how much I'm coding now. Like I remember before, I remember I used to get stuck and I mean, I mean like hours on Stack Overflow which is cool, but that's really frustrating. But now like AI, what this does for me is now it helps me like debug much faster, by the way. And in result, I can ship much faster, build more cool projects and do things I didn't even think I was capable of doing before. And so because of this, because of AI, even though I work in the AI space, yes, but because of AI, I found my love for code again, which is really interesting because you would think because of AI, coding would be too easy. But no, like coding is so much more fun than ever before. My GitHub is green almost, I think almost every single day so far. Uh, I love it and it feels amazing, right? So I, I, I love code now more than ever before. But yeah, so it's amazing. And honestly, the part of what brought me back was again, removing that friction. Not just in how I can code, but in when and where I can code. Because like, here's the thing. Inspiration honestly doesn't wait. Let's say you're in bed, you're at the gym, or let's say you're stuck in traffic and the best ideas hit you. But the thing is, by the time you get to your computer, by the, by the time you get home, it's gone. And that's why I've been messing with Uwear's new mobile app, which is where you literally talk an app into existence. Like literally, you just describe your idea with your voice, by the way, or you just type it out and Uwear 
turns it into a working project like instantly. And what's really cool about this is that you can start something on desktop, pick it up on your phone with zero setup and even undo things you didn't like, try different versions and then publish it right then and there. And what's cool about this is the fact that you get no hosting headaches, no deployment, no setting up environments, you just build and share. And by the way, there's this whole community inside the app as well with over literally half a million people building stuff, sharing projects and giving feedback. So I highly recommend you check this out. Check out you were in the link in the description below and let me know what you think. Now let's talk about what I'm building. The thing about what's so different about now is back then when I used to build things, I would just build things that I would find tutorials or build things that I saw what other people built. But because I'm building every single day now, one thing that has changed about me is I now want to build things, not because I think people think it's cool, but because of AI, I can build anything that I want because I need it. So the other reason I love coding again is because I'm building for myself, not for a job. Like when you're a software engineer at a company, you build what you have to. You build to hit OKRs. You build things to look good to your manager. But right now, I'm not building to look good to anyone. I'm building because I'm having fun. I'm building AI apps that I use every single day, multiple times a day myself. And it's funny because like, I remember like I use ChatGPT to help me write, right? Not sometimes, let's be honest, often. And I would always ask, let's say ChatGPT, make sure this doesn't sound like AI and et cetera, but it always still sounds like AI. And I remember looking around for an AI detector that's free that I can use, but all of them charge so much money. Some of them charge like 30 bucks a month. And so I remember thinking like, why would I pay 30 bucks a month for something like this? It's so frustrating. Why not just build something on my own that's free that other people can use too. And so what did I do? I built my own AI detector app. And like, th that's just one example of all the things that I'm building. But like, what I'm trying to say is when you get in that, pro that process where you're just building things because you need it, or like you're just thinking out loud, for example, for example, I love blogging, but I suck at writing. But I'm much better at speaking than writing. So I also built another app where now when I wanna write a blog, I don't have to write it, I speak it. The name of my app is called Speak It, where I can just speak my words. I'm using Dgram and integrate it with, that I integrated my app with the Dgram API. And now it turns my voice into text. And then once you're done speaking for like five minutes or whatever, I use an LLM, I'm using ChatGPT for this, where after just one click, it turns what you spoke into proper writing English and it organizes it correctly with subtitles for a blog. Right. So anyway, so that is what has changed in my life. Right. That's what I wanted to share, because like I know a lot of folks who want to get in tech or a lot of folks who are in tech who are burned out. I highly suggest you just think of things that you want to build for fun. Like, what do I need? What would I like for myself just throughout the day? Just think about it. And it changes everything. Anyway, that's what I've learned. Those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.